Why do programmers include an underscore in their variable names and other different things that you would name internally in the code? Now, what I'm not talking about is snake case. And if you guys don't know what snake case is, it's like a way of writing your variable names and stuff like that. It's a convention and it's one of many uh, how you can go about writing variable names. It's basically like you have a word and you connect two words using underscores like snake, snake, underscore case. That's basically what it is. Um, if you guys didn't know, that's, that is not what I'm talking about here. But what I am talking about is underscores in front of the variable name. Um, so like you may have seen advanced Roblox programmers doing this, and uh, you most likely seen it in object-oriented programming code and like other module stuff. Um, so what I'm talking about is like something like underscore config or like a variable name, so like underscore something. You know, they put an underscore before whatever they name. All right, so let's say we had a module here. So we're going to enter the module script through replicate storage, and we had some variables we wanted to define and maybe some variables that we would only use in the code. That exactly leads me to my next point. Why would they do this? Why would you put an underscore before a variable name? Well, they do this to show that a variable is a quote-unquote private variable. And what I mean by a private variable is that the variable, it might indicate that uh, it should only be accessed and used within the same script that it, it is being called in and stuff like that, the same script and module. Um, and it is not intended to be accessed by outside scripts and modules. So if we had a variable like underscore number that this would uh, let a person know that this should only be used in this module script and not in outside scripts. So you can also think of this naming convention as saying like, hey, this variable is meant to be used by this specific part of the code of this script. And it shouldn't be used by other scripts. Um, even furthermore, in other words, it's like keeping, well, not keep, it's like putting a keep out sign on certain variables. So it's like uh, from an, uh, when another script like looks onto your script for like different variables and stuff, it's like keep out. Do not mess with this one. This is a variable that is only dealt with internally, basically inside that script. And again, you would most likely see this in an object-oriented programming type way. So like if we had module underscore underscore index equals module, and we had a function like module.new, something like that, like local self is equal to set meta table, this uh, module. And usually right here, when you would add something to a meta table or a a new uh, module like object oriented object you would say self dot underscore whatever like damage or something that's only dealt with in the script and return self that's usually around the base of what you would see more advanced programmers doing now your guys's next question might be like well why would you want to do this in your code why would you want to use these underscores in your code um, well there are a few reasons so number one why uh, might you would want to use this is for maybe less confusion so it makes it clear of which parts of your code uh, that you should use certain variables and it can reduce you know confusion for other programmers working on the same things like if you have multiple people working on the same thing and they can see an underscore and they will see that oh this should only be used here so it would cause less confusion by using underscores it can also make your code safer in a way you know by marking some variables as private uh, with the underscore it can reduce the chances of like accident accidental changes and 
you know, from like changing other parts of your system that shouldn't be messed with. So, uh, it decreases the chances of you basically messing with variable names and just makes it easier to, uh, just code and just makes everything safer and reduces errors and even more confusion if you want to tie that back to number one. And I'm just going to add on there, I'm just going to say like a third one that it just acts as like a little guide in the code, like to tell you this should go here and uh, some other parts can be used from outside script. So it just overall uh, reduces confusion and can also make your code safer um, and causes less issues in your code. Uh, so you don't have to spend more time on trying to figure out what's wrong with your code when it's just a simple naming issue or something like that. And also just makes your coding life easier by seeing like this should only be used here and whatnot. Now I'm going to go over one more question that you guys may have. And that is, uh, do double underscores mean anything? Because as I was showing off this example, uh, when I made this uh, module script here, there is a, oh, I didn't make underscore underscore index here. I didn't, I didn't say that, but... Uh, there is a double underscore index here. So is there a meaning to these double underscores? Well, in like programming languages like Python and uh, programming languages like that, uh, the the double underscores like are meant to show that variables are special. And basically it's like for built in special behavior type stuff and like in python and stuff like that uh they're i think they're called like magic methods or something like that the roblox kind of adapted this from uh python by having the underscore underscore stuff like underscore index in object oriented programming and set meta table stuff uh but really in, in just standard like roblox studio lua and stuff like that double underscores really don't really mean anything they don't really have any special meaning uh if you want to give it a special meaning to like to your own code style then you guys can do that uh if you really want to and you like how this is so really in roblox studio these double underscores when you're naming something like a double underscore it really doesn't mean anything unless you the programmer actually gives it a meaning and you want to share that information with other programmers in your code, but that's all up to you if you prefer that style and if you want to make your own kind of thing. Uh, but uh, th that's what the double underscores are really mean. So just a recap of what I went over in this video, I covered what is the purpose of using uh, underscores in variable names and really what they help you do is it saw so, uh shows that uh a variable is private and it can't be used by outside scripts and it also uh reduces confusion in your code and also you know uh helps to uh not make any more errors than what you may already have in your code trying to solve that so helps to solve errors in your code and again i also covered uh what the double underscore means if you want to give it any meaning then you guys can as well so those this is basically what i covered in this video um so i hope you guys learned something from it i just wanted to clear some confusion up uh because some people, quite a few people, ask that to more advanced programmers. And I've never really got asked the question, but I just kind of want to make a video about it to help you guys out. But yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys just enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.